Mizuma TV back in the building, man. What's going on, y'all? Shout out to Mizuma Nation. Shout out to the Mizuma Ma. We in the building as always, man. I hope everybody's having a blessed, beautiful, positive, productive day. Out here chilling at work right now. Really ain't got no complaints. Nonetheless, I'm back at y'all with some more boxing talk. Man, we had a legendary live last night, man. Shout out to Bill Haney for coming through and showing love, man. Giving his advice on being a father, man. Speaking on the sport of boxing. Speaking on his uh, son, Devin Haney, and exactly what the future holds, man. If you did not see that live, please go check it out. I'm going to post it on the community page for y'all to see, man. I'll give y'all the time and seconds in which Bill Haney comes in so y'all can enjoy that. I'll also be posting some snippets as well. On the road to 2K, man, we about to crack that 1600 mark, man. Shout out to the nation. Shout out to the mob for making this possible. All right, y'all. Let's talk about one of the biggest frauds. In the sport of boxing, man, one of the biggest liars, one of the biggest manipulators of his fans, man. Just an absolute lame. I don't understand how this dude um, has the fan base that he has. You know what I mean? He's not a star in any stretch of the imagination, in my opinion, that they claim him to be. But the fact that this man actually has supporters, actually has a fan base, when he has done nothing but lied and... Uh, isn't about his business at all man don't stand on any type of principles uh ryan garcia man one of the biggest frauds in the sport of boxing and i'm gonna tell you why so while i was on live with bill haney and the man claymore rain re um uh there was a few other people on there i'm sorry if i uh not remember your name at this moment but regardless there were people in the chat saying that Roly Romero and Ryan Garcia was official for April 20th. Now, I had automatically been suspicious when I had read that because from the sources that I know, they told me that Roly was already locked in with Pitbull Cruz March 30th on the undercard of Tim Zhu and Keith Thurman. You know what I'm saying? Which I'll be making a separate video on that as well. Um, so I was kind of suspicious, like, what? Did Roly just go back into negotiations with Ryan and make this fight happen? Did he just walk away from a PBC card? Um, after he said that him and Pitbull was locked in for uh, PBC on, on Prime, on, on Amazon Prime, it didn't really make sense to me. Um, I go and check uh, Michael Benson's Twitter, and he says, according to Dan Rayfield, that Ryan Garcia and Roly Romero are locking in a fight for April 20th. So this is what was weird um, about it. You know what I mean? Now, if there would have been a, 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 a real big, like substantial time difference between these two dates, then maybe I would have believed it more. But you mean to tell me that Roly Romero is gonna fight Pitbull Cruz? According to reports, this came from Mike Cobbinger, who I feel is, has been more accurate than Dan Rayfield lately. That's just what I believe, you know what I mean? If anybody disagrees, you feel free to let me know. But um, Mike Cobbinger said that Pitbull and Roly are locked in March 30th. So you mean to tell me that he's that Roly's gonna fight Pitbull on March 30th, and that's gonna be a brutal fight, man. He 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 gonna he gonna wake up feeling, you know what I mean, a little beat up the next day, regardless of the outcome. You know what I mean? Pitbull is a tough opponent. You mean to tell me that after Pitbull, he's gonna jump right back into training camp the next day and fight Ryan Garcia three weeks later? There's a literally like a, more or less three week time difference between March 30th and April 20th. You see what I'm saying? So how realistic is that? Because, um, you know, fighters from PBC are just boxing. And boxers in general nowadays only fight two, three times a year when they're at an elite level. So you mean to tell me he's going to do a three-week turnaround and, and, and take another big dangerous fight against Ryan Garcia? It smells like cat, man. Um, Ryan Garcia had put up a post. He said, this fight is happening. This I know there's a lot of confusion, but this fight is happening. And... Uh, uh, um, I love you guys. What do you think about this fight? Yo, Ryan Garcia is a piece of shit, bro. He played behind this God club like he's such a religious man and he does everything through Jesus Christ. But, bro, you consistently, habitually lie, bro. Habitually lie. And at this point, it's ridiculous, man. Um, I highly doubt that PBC is going to allow Roly Romero to cross over do a cross promotion with Ryan Garcia when they could just take another fellow PBC fighter and throw him on a card on Amazon Prime that they're debuting on uh, March 30th. You know what I'm saying? Which one seems more realistic at this point in time? I'm leaning towards the whole Pitbull Cruz situation. And let's say it is a situation where Roley turns his back on Pitbull and fights Ryan on April 20th. It just make uh, Roley Romero look bad at the end of the day. And what's also, what's also interesting about this is this is what 
uh, Mayweather had, had set out to do um, off of the rip. He wanted Roley to fight Ryan Garcia, but there was there must have been somebody behind the scenes that overruled uh, Mayweather's request and had him fight Pitbull Cruz instead. Who did that happen to be? Most likely Al Heyman, you know what I mean? So when Mayweather comes out here and he says things along the lines of, uh, me and Al Heyman, uh, uh, we're one, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it seems like Al Heyman has more power in this situation because he told you that's not what we doing. We not fighting uh, Ryan Garcia right now. He's going to fight Pitbull Cruz, and that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I take from this whole situation, man. Ryan Garcia is a grandmaster cap artist, man. This shit is disgusting at this point. It's like, how can you back this man? This man don't stand on no principles. He blatantly lies to the fans. He manipulates the media. This isn't his first time. He did this with Javante Tank Davis before they even fought. I remember the exact situation where he was in negotiations with Tank. Then he pulls out of the Tank negotiations to possibly fight Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao and his team said, yo, we don't know what he's talking about. Like, we we, 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 we weren't negotiating any fight with Ryan Garcia. Like, what are you talking about? Now, Ryan Garcia is left in the dust. He throws his team under the bus and says they're the reason for the confusion and everything like that. When in actuality, he was just lying for, for clout. You see what I'm saying? He was lying for clout. So he lost both opportunities and didn't get the Javante Davis fight till a little bit later down the line. I think he had to fight Tago and all these unnecessary opponents prior to Javante Davis. So it's just funny how this dude just has a history of lying. He has a history of like pimping the media like Tiafimo Lopez says. And somehow, some way, these boxing fans still support Ryan Garcia. I will never get it, bro. I will never get it. It's like, it says a lot about uh, that particular fan's character if they rocking with Ryan Garcia, with them knowing that he blatantly ducks fighters. You see what I'm saying? Blatantly ducked Devin Heaney several times, ducked them, pulled out of negotiations to get a Roley Romero fight because Floyd Mayweather said something to him. Now he's left with no fight because Roley Romero pretty much said, fuck the zone, fuck De La Hoya, fuck Ryan. This is what we gonna do. We rocking with Al Heyman. We not rocking with a co-kid. <laughs> so um, he's pretty much left with no big money fight, you know what I'm saying? Unless he wants to go back into, into the Devin Haney negotiations. But I should have asked Bill in all honesty, but I don't think that they're going to spin the block and try to even consider that fight now. They might consider a fight with Adrian Broner now. You know what I'm saying? They might try to pursue a unification fight at 140. Um, they might go up to 47. They actually have options. You know what I'm saying? They actually have options. And it sounds like Ryan Garcia is just stuck in the, stuck in the dirt right now, looking for a way out. Yeah, you know I mean, it's like he in quicksand right now. He got to make a move before, you know what I mean, it, it uh, buries him. You feel what I'm saying? So y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. Ryan Garcia, an absolute cap artist, bro, lying about fight dates and locking fights in just to manipulate the fans to have some attention on his side when in actuality it's looking like um, Roley Romero will be fighting Pitbull, PBC on Prime. March 30th as a co-main event for Keith Thurman and Tim Zoo. Y'all let me know what y'all think. This is Mizuma TV. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm out of here, man. Peace.